All right, so I've been working on a ScreenFlow recently where we essentially just create a new record. And the client has asked that when the record is created, they want to see a successful screen at the end of the flow that just says, the record has successfully been created. Here is the record um, hyperlink whereby you can click on it and it will take you to that newly created record. Fair enough, very uh, common requirement. Now, I've searched online for this, essentially how to add a hyperlink to a screen flow in Salesforce. And all of the solutions leads me to the same outcome, which is when I click on the hyperlink, it opens a new Chrome tab. And that is so bad because in my case, for example, we're using Service Console. And the last thing you want to do is duplicate that Chrome tab. So you have two Service Consoles open at the same time. So ideally, what I want to happen is that when I click on this hyperlink, I uh, the record is opened in a new Salesforce tab, not a new Chrome tab. And this is what this video is about. So I'm going to take you through how I've managed to get this to work, and hopefully it will help you as well. So here we are in Salesforce, and I have already created a very simple flow that essentially has a main screen whereby we're capturing some of that initial information um, and then the create element. So in this use case, because this is a uh, playground, what we're doing is from the contact record, we're going to use a quick action that launches the screen flow. And then we're going to be creating a new case record from this screen flow. So we've already creating the case here. This is the uh, uh, case create element. Um, what we need to do next is we need to fetch the case that we've just created. Now, if you're familiar with flows, you know you can do this by manually assigning a variable here and then adding a variable that captures that ID. This isn't going to work for us because what we want to do is we want to reference the case number onto our end screen. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that end screen. But the first thing we need to do is actually we need to go old school and use a get records element to get that case that we've just created. So get created case. And here we're going to look for the case object. And then the ID of the case that we want to get is going to be the ID from the, it's going to be case ID from insert case. So this is something that the flow does for you. You don't have to create this. So now we're getting that case record. And now what we want to do is we want to have an end screen that's essentially going to be our end screen. So this is our end screen. And I'll just add a prefix here. Usually what I do with screens is I remove the header and I remove the pause. I just hide that pause button. Um, and what we want to do is we want to add a display text. So D text, uh, end uh, message. And so here, we want to type a message to the end user, something like um, a new case has been uh, created. And then we have case number, essentially like this. And so we want to be displaying that case number here. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And now we've prepared our end screen, but we're not actually doing anything with hyperlinks just yet. So I'm just going to click done. So our screen is prepared. And now let's take care of that hyperlink stuff. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a formula. So new resource formula, and I'm going to call this, uh, sorry, not a variable. I'm going to call it a formula for the uh, case URL. And then data type is going to be text. And now here, what we want to do is you want to use this formula, this exact formula. And so I'll paste it in the um, description of the video. This is essentially what's going to store the dynamic generated URL for your instance. So that's why you can use this exact formula. This is going to work for you as well. The only difference is at the very end here, you need to add the variable that is storing the record ID for the case that you've just created. So you can click on insert resource. And essentially here, what we want is we want to find the um, case from get created case. And then uh, we want to find the case ID. 
So you're just putting that, uh, the ID of the case that you've just created at the very end of the formula. That's the only bit that you're changing. So if you're following me one step at a time, then when you're looking at this formula on your computer, everything is going to be the same. Everything that's highlighted is going to be exactly the same as you see here. And then the end bit is just going to be whatever you've called that get element, essentially. But that's our formula. So then you hit done. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to create a text template for, uh, for the case URL. And now here, so this is what you want to do. You want to copy and paste this. Now we need to populate this with a few additional bits of information. So we're not done yet, but I just, I'm going to put this on the video description as well. So make sure you just copy and paste this onto your um, new resource. But here is the key bit. If you don't do this, none of this is going to work. So this is the key bit. On the right-hand side where it says view as rich text, we need to change this to say view as plain text. Rich text will not work here. It needs to be plain. But if you have already pasted this formula onto the body here and then you change it to plain text, it will not work. Because watch, I had already pasted it. And now that I've changed it to plain text, this is what that um, formula looks like. When in fact, that's not what I want. So what you need to do is you need to change it to plain text first with an empty body. And then once you're in plain text, then you paste the, this onto the body. And this is going to be on the description of the video. So don't worry. And now here within the, the, the quotations, right where my cursor is, that's where we want to reference the formula that we've just created. So let's look for that. Here's that formula case URL. That's where we want to put that formula. And then over here, just between these brackets, what we want to do is we want to get the newly created case number. And this is why we needed a get case element. Because unfortunately, with the variable that you could have added on your insert element, you wouldn't be able to reference the number of the case. So that's the only reason. So here, we want to insert resource. We want to find that case from get created case. And then within here, we want to search for case number. Now we hit done. And now the only thing left to do is to go back to that end screen, edit that display text, and wherever we want that display number to appear, we just click on that, insert a resource, and then we search for that template that we've just created. And it's going to look like this. So a new case has been created, case number, and then the template. And then we can click done. Now we're going to save this. We're going to activate it. And then I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to go back to the front end. I'm going to go to a contact record. I'm just going to hit refresh here on my page. We are launching that flow through a quick action. So here is the quick action. I am going to populate this with some data information. So new case test one, a description, and then a case origin. Now, when I hit next, we're presented with that end screen. And so I can click finish if I just want to finish the flow and not be taken to that case record. But if I click on the hyperlink and you can see it's now giving me the case number that we've just created, then it opens that case. And if you notice, I stayed within my existing tab. I'm not sure if you can see this on the recording because I think I cut off the tabs, but I've stayed on the same tab. So this is a great way to get your hyperlinks to open new tabs within Salesforce rather than opening a new Chrome tab, which let's face it, nobody wants that. So I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time.